Welcome everyone to my GT4 how-to guide. In this video I'll be going over how to check and update your wheels firmware, how to calibrate your shifter paddles, how to adjust your clutch paddles for double clutch mode, how to change your button LED colors, and how to change your wireless frequency in case you're having issues in game. I'll have download links in the description down below. So with that said, let's carry on to the first section. So in order to check your wheel's firmware or to update it, the first thing that we need to do is to disconnect it from our wheelbase here. It's always a good idea to make sure your wheelbase is turned off. Now we're going to take that USB cable that came with your wheel. We're going to plug the pink end into your PC. And then we're going to take the smaller end and plug it into the back of your GT4 wheel here, like so. You get an indication from Windows, your lights will come on. And then we can proceed to the PC side. So we want to go into Race Manager here, into the folder, and we want to go down to wheelupdate.exe. And we want to double click that. You'll know if everything's connected right, because this will be blue and white. If it isn't, it'll be red and white. So everything is good. We want to click on check update. Give it a few seconds. If you're on the latest version, this will pop up. You can go ahead and click yes. If you do have a firmware update, it'll state that there's a new update. Just click yes. And then click on download. Once you do, all of the lights on your button box here are going to go out and the green progress bar is going to pop up on your screen here. Wait till it reaches 100%. You can give it a couple extra seconds just to be safe. And then you can close out of here. We can disconnect the USB cable from the back of our GT4 wheel. We can then proceed to reconnect it to our wheelbase. And now we can move on to calibrating our shifter paddles. So in this section, I'm going to show you guys how you can calibrate your paddle shifters. This should be completed anytime you get a new wheel, anytime you upgrade your firmware, every time that you change the wireless frequency, or if you're just experiencing issues in game with miss shifts or your paddles being unrecognized. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on our wheelbase with the wheel connected. And while it's doing that on our PC, we're going to open up Race Manager. On the left here, we can click on calibration, which will give us this screen here. Now, if you've just updated the firmware on your wheel, you may notice that the lights are off and your shifter paddles aren't being recognized in Race Manager right now, but everything else should be. That's okay, we're gonna resolve that. So the first thing we're gonna do is this three-way sliding switch on the back of your wheel. You're gonna take that and slide it all the way to the right or towards the quick release. That's going to put your wheel into settings mode. Now this left funky switch, we're going to push it up and hold it. And while holding that switch, we're going to go through and push each of the paddle shifts in any order until we've pushed each of them twice. Once you've done that, let go of the left funky switch and slide that three-way toggle switch on the back of your wheel all the way to the left. And that will save your settings. Now in race manager, you'll see that your clutch paddles are now being recognized and everything is calibrated and working as normal. You can now proceed to adjusting your double clutch settings in the next section. So in this section, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your clutches for when you're in double clutch mode, as well as show you the two different clutch modes that this wheel offers you. So make sure your wheelbase is turned on. We're going to go into Race Manager here. Once that boots up, we're going to click on the left calibration here to get to this page. And we're going to focus on this RY section here. So on the back of your wheel, we're going to slide that three-way sliding toggle switch all the way to the right to put it into settings. You're going to pull in one of your clutch paddles all the way. And while doing that, you're going to push in the right rotary encoder and you're going to turn it either left or right 
to where you want it to be. I would like mine to be 50%, so I will put that there. You'll release it, release your clutch, slide the switch on the back all the way to the left to save your settings, and then you'll find that your clutches are now set up. So the two different clutch modes that you have, all the way left where it is right now, is dual clutch mode, meaning both of these paddles work on the RY axis, and each paddle will go from 0 to 50%. So in order to get to 100, you have to pull both paddles at the same time. And the other clutch mode is dual axis mode. So the sliding switch on the back, you would put it to the middle position. And then you'll find that each clutch works on its own axis now. Uh, left clutch will go 0 to 100 on the RY axis. And the uh, right clutch will go 0 to 100 on the RZ axis. So with your clutches set up now, we can proceed to adjusting the LED colors on your buttons here. So in this section, I'm going to show you guys how you can change the LED colors on all your buttons here. You want to slide the switch on the back of your wheel all the way to the right to put it into settings mode. And then you just simply push each button until you reach the desired color. Once you have it set up the way you would like it to look, you simply slide that switch all the way to the left on the back of your wheel here, and it saves your settings. You can do this at any time. You don't need race manager or your PC to be on. You just need your wheelbase to be on and the wheel connected to the wheelbase. Now with that said, we can move on to the last section. In this final section, I'm going to show you guys how you can change your wireless frequency on your wheelbase. It's recommended to do this if you're experiencing any kind of mischiefs, your buttons not being recognized, anything like that. So with your wheel connected to your wheelbase and your wheelbase turned on, we are going to go into your race manager folder. We're going to look for this channel set.exe and open that up. Let's move that off to the side. We can close out of here. Now we want to open up Race Manager. And this is just to see if changing the frequency is actually doing anything. We're going to click on Calibration. And this is where we can see our inputs, if they're being registered or not. Okay. So on the right here, where our channel set is, you're going to click on the down arrow. And you're going to go through and try different frequencies. So I just changed it to 6. Now you can see nothing is working. I have no input whatsoever. So we're going to go through and we're going to try another one here. Channel 19. Still nothing. And you're going to proceed to do this until you find a channel that works for you. Now I've gone through pretty much all of these and I found my sweet spot is 60. As you can see, it's like bang on every time for me. You may have different results, but give it a shot. And once you found the frequency that is solid for you, you can go ahead and click the X and you can close our race manager and you can proceed to tear up those roads.